You just said about burning a review there. Let me just ask you quickly about that because this is a bone of contention. Being, I mean, I'll firmly put myself in the bowlers' union on this one. A true batsman is never out, never admits to being out. It's why Shane Watson, for me, is the purest batsman I know from Australia because he would review everything. Stuart Broad should have been an opening batsman because he never thinks yep. he's out. Burnt reviews, burnt reviews. Back in the Australian dressing room, if you do, like if you burn one there, like you said, do you get back in and just take pads off and go, yeah, sorry, lads. Or do you sit down and go, that was never out. I don't care what that says, that was never out. Um, How does it go down in the rooms? It depends who it is. <laughs> because <laughs> if, well, another another review that I burnt, and, and this is, again, for the same reason, because you're on the, you're on, under pressure and you want to score runs so badly that you can't give yourself out. You can't walk off the ground yeah. thinking, geez, I wouldn't mind someone else having a second second look at that. Yeah. So the World Cup quarterfinal against Pakistan in 2015 at the Adelaide Oval, I got 100 first game against England and I didn't get many runs and I, was, I, was, I wasn't under pressure for my spot. I was always playing, but I felt under pressure and I got, I think we were chasing 180 and I got hit in the middle of the front pad and... I walked down the other end and said to Davey Warner, oh, what do you think, mate? He goes, oh, it looked pretty good. I said, oh, I, was, I felt as I was just falling over, like it, it might have been sliding down leg. He goes, all right, use it then. So I used it and I was hitting middle stump, like literally that far <laughs> up, in, in the middle of middle stump. And this is a, the World Cup semi-final and a uh, quarter-final rather. And I walked in, took my pads off, went up to the viewing room and I copped one of the great sprays from Darren Lehman. He said, "If if if we lose this, if we lose this game by uh, no, Steve Smith was batting. Uh, yeah, if if he gets yeah. a fifty fifty decision and, and we don't have a review, look out. Uh, with a few other words in there, it was it was bloody funny. Yeah. Looking back at it at the time, you, at the time you're just absolutely shitting yourself. Um, but ah, oh, if if Steve Smith burns one and and he's he's in." Um, I think the boys overlook that sometimes. I think, yeah, between but in one day and one day cricket in particular, myself, Davey, and Steve Smith are the three most experienced players in our three most experienced batters in the side, and I happen to be the captain. So if you make yeah, the you wrong call, not many, not many people <laughs> like get up I and. Tell you and what I was like, I always like the idea of a young lad, a young batsman, because you always see it every team you ever play for. Say he comes in number six and he's batting with a skipper or whatever. And the skipper's absolutely stone dead. When they walk down to each other, you see the young fella go, oh, no, please don't ask me if that was out or not. No, yeah. Go, I, I, and the English, English lads are the worst. It's a very English thing to never say anything to your face. Slag each other off behind your back, but never be honest to your face. The amount yeah. of the top six for England at the minute who go, oh, yeah, I, I thought, Josh, that might have been slipping, or might have been, and they always don't call for it, and you see that it's absolutely stone dead. Yeah. And I just say, oh, my God. I always like think a young lad who walk up and go, absolutely salmon, mate, off your pump. I think it'd be yep. brilliant for the game. Yep. Uh, but that's quite that's quite common how that happens with, with like myself and Warner or myself and Smith. Because we've played together so long, we yeah. know each other really well. Let's say, um, oh, head of field, Davey, he goes, don't bother, mate. Oh, shit. Yeah, so one of those ones. Uh, yeah. my, my head's over here, and, and I think that it's sliding down leg, but it's hitting middle and off halfway up. <laughs> but, yo, I got to say, you know, it, it's it's really interesting as I'm sure aspiring cricketers who are listening to this to talk about you when you're, in, you know, in a tough bit of form, how you pace your innings and get yourself out of those situations, you know, set those small targets. But what about when you and David Warner are just destroying the confidence of bowlers across the globe? Because your partnership, the destructive dynamic, I can't even think of adjectives, but when the two of you are in the zone, you are so well and truly in the zone. Are you like in a bubble? Do you just like, you know, what's going on between the two of you? Are you cracking jokes in the middle? I really hope you're cracking jokes in the middle. No, not many, not many jokes in the middle. It's all cricket. Um, we... I think we complement each other really well mm. because obviously left and right hand, but we're also yeah. very, very different. So for me, I, I can, in early in my innings can be vulnerable to the full ball, but I, I think I can score quite heavily off the full ball, whereas Davey's heavily off the back foot. He can mm. hurt you as soon as you get slightly short. So you not, you not yeah. only have to change your line, but your, your lengths have to be quite, well, very different, but very... Um, 
well, very disciplined, I think. So, so that also happens to play into both of our hands, really. Once you once you get in, I think we run pretty well between, well, very well between wickets together. So we can sort of put pressure on oppositions in a in a couple of different ways. But having known each other for almost twenty years now, as well, um, that that helps in a partnership. You, you just understand what they're thinking. Um, you you almost know what they're going to do after or before they've done it because you, you've been with him so many times that you can see how he's gripping the bat. You can see the look on his face that he's, that he's about to do, about to play a certain shot. Um, so so that, that sort of helps calm everything down. And, and also you can be really honest and really vulnerable with each other as a partnership, which is, is quite, quite uncommon, I would imagine, in especially international sport, being able to tell your, your partner, say, look, I don't fancy facing this guy. At the moment, you 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 take him. If yeah. let, let's not take a quick single because I I don't back myself getting through Trent Bolt, for example, who swings it back yeah, onto my front pad. Good. Like he, he he's looking for that. Um, yeah, it's, it's just strange, isn't it? How how it works like that. Well, that's a, that's strange you should say that because that's almost like for the male ego. There's nothing worse than being honest and saying, "Look, I think this boat's got the better of me here." And just for <laughs> I was just thinking how different that is for batsmen because. Bats, being a batsman, I'm, I'm 90% is in the head, I'm sure. Because you're all brilliant mm. players. But it's like always being confident, trying to, you know, have this awe about you. If you bat from number eight downwards, that's completely removed. So if you get hit on the leg and it hurts, you can rub it as much as you want. You don't care <laughs> if it hurts. And the amount of times I've gone down to the other end, especially with Brody, after you got hit in the face, going, um, he's all yours, I'm facing the spinner. I'm absolutely shitting myself. <laughs> no yep. chance of my face in way too fast. It's, yep. I think it'd be really good if bowlers and batsmen could just get together and, and just be, you know, that new refreshing outlook. Can you imagine a bowler just saying, Skipper, I really hate bowling at this place. It's too good for me. I'm not bowling anymore. <laughs> 